visit Mario in Italy. Here's Mario with his fishing net. And there's his mum, his brother Salvo, and sister Nicole. Where are they going? Oh, they've come to see the boats. And the fishermen are just back from a fishing trip. Have they caught anything? That's a strange looking fish. It's still alive. Come and have a look, Mario. Move out the way. I wonder what else the fishermen have caught. Oh, look at this one. It's slippery. That's hardly surprising. These fish have come straight from the sea, so they're wet, cold and very slippery. Can you keep hold of it? Look, you can hold it like this. It doesn't have any teeth. Look, see, there are no teeth. No, no, it won't hurt you. It doesn't have any teeth. Hold it like this, see. It won't hurt you. Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> now, what's happened to this fish? It's been eaten by an eel. The fishermen think the tail was bitten off by this big, long eel. It must have very sharp teeth. Mario can't wait to get in the water and do some fishing too. The sea's lovely and clear. But where are the fish? What's this? Oh, just seaweed and mud. Any sign of a fish? There isn't even one fish around here. I think the fish are hiding from you. But those goggles will help you spot them. I'll try over there. Don't splash too much, Mario. You'll frighten the fish away. There's some of those little ones. Yes, there they are. Oh, I can't see them anymore. Try again. Have another look. I can't see any more fish. There's one, Mario. Quick! I saw I one. But then they get away. They're so fast. Have you got a towel? Don't worry, Mario. It takes a long time to learn how to be a fisherman. Anushka, in India. Anushka. Where are you, Anushka? There's someone at the door for you. Ah, it's Anushka's friend, Harsha. <laughs> so what are you going to play today? Uh, shall we do a running race? Nah. Maybe Anushka's big brother, Akalish, will have an idea. Right, we need to draw some lines and squares. They've chosen a game. But what kind of game needs all these coloured lines? Stop. 
If you need a stone, here's yours. Wait, we need to write the numbers out too. I'll do it. Shapes, stones and numbers. This looks like an interesting game. There's a thousand. Here's eight hundred. Me first, you second, you third. OK, Anushka, let's see how you play this game. You throw the stone, then you hop through the squares to get to it. Anushka has to kick the stone back into another square while still hopping on one leg. <laughs> Fantastic! The stone's in the 500 square. So 500 points to Anushka. OK, your turn, Akalish. Good throw. You're doing it wrong. You missed the square. Uh-oh, no points for you, Akalish. You're doing it twice. That's cheating. Well spotted, Anushka. Now, time for Harsha to have a go. Great jump, Harsha. Hey, that's wrong. Give him a chance. You've had your go. Hopping and kicking at the same time. This really is a tricky game. Why don't you have another try, Anushka? Do I have to? Can you do it for me? No, that's cheating. Throw it gently. That's better. Whoa, steady. That's it. Hop to me on one leg. I can't hop on one leg. Super. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh dear. I think Anushka's getting tired. Time for Harsha to have another go. A thousand points? Well done. Wow, those are. So, Ash is first, Anushka is second, and I'm third. Anushka is second. That's the end of that game. But Anushka's ready for another one. I'm going to sit here. Let's play the pizza game. Pizza is my best. Maybe you'll win this game, Anushka. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I love pizza. Pizza is my best friend. <laughs> You're cheating, so I'll have to tickle you. <laughs> Don't worry about winning, Anushka. You just keep having fun. While we go and visit another friend. Where shall we go? And who shall we see? What's Angel up to? In Peru. <laughs> Today, Angel and his cousin Santiago are helping Grandad water the garden, where they grow their food. They have to do this early in the morning before the sun gets too hot. These pepper plants need lots of water. So does this herb called sage. That's enough water. Angel, can you turn the tap off? That's the watering done. It's still morning, but it's already too hot to do any more work. So Great Grandad sits quietly in the shade. But what about Angel and Santiago? Oh. <laughs> They've still got plenty of energy left. 
they're walking through this shady banana grove. Maybe they're going to rest under the trees. Or pick a banana. It looks like they're heading to this avocado tree, growing right in the middle of the banana grove. Let's see if we can climb the tree. <laughs> this is one of Ang Hel's favourite trees. <laughs> Even though the boys climb it all the time, they have to be very careful they don't fall off. What can you see? I can see really far. A mad puma. Santiago is pretending to be a puma, a big cat sleeping in the shade of the tree. There's nowhere better to be when it's really hot. Later in the afternoon, when the air becomes cooler, great grandad's out planting vegetables. And so are his two helpers. Great grandad, who's nearly 90, digs up the earth so that Angel and Santiago can plant these onions in the soil. One more. That's the last one. What a great team. The onions are planted and watered. And now the cool evening will give them the best chance to grow. In the morning, they've already started sprouting small new shoots. Before the sun gets too hot again, Great Grandad's found another shady spot. And Angel and Santiago? <laughs> Me first. No rest for them. <laughs> Playing's much more fun. All our friends had a great time today. Mario tried to catch some very clever fish. Anushka played a great game with Harsha and Akalish. And Angel helped Great Grandad in the garden. I wonder where in the world we'll go next time.